Hello everyone. This is demo session for computer aided drug designing or discovery. So what is computer aided drug discovery or designing or CAD? So computer aided drug discovery uses computational methods to simulate drug receptor interactions that can help the drug development to be fast and cost effective. Before we go into CADD, we need to understand some important terminologies like drug and drug design. So what is drug? So drug is a chemical substance that produces some physiological or psychological effects when consumed. Whereas drug designing is a process to study the effect of biologically active compounds on the basis of molecular interactions in terms of molecular structure or its physiochemical properties. There are certain important facts or points we need to understand for drug design, which can be that the drug should be an organic small molecule. It should be complementary in shape to the target or the receptor, and it should be oppositely charged to the biological target or receptor or protein. There are different types of drug discovery, which is known, which are ligand-based drug discovery, and structure-based drug discovery. Ligand-based drug discovery, if the process involves the structural information of the ligand that binds to the target, then that is known as ligand-based drug discovery. Whereas, if the process is based on the structural information of the target or the receptor, then that is known as structure-based drug discovery. Ligand-based drug discovery involves processes like QSR modeling, computational chemistry, semi-informatics, structural profiling. Whereas structure-based drug discovery involves molecular modeling, protein structure predictions, molecular docking, molecular dynamics, etc. Compiling all this, we can design a workflow for drug design, which is this. So this is the workflow for drug designing or drug discovery. So the workflow involves four major steps, target identification, hit identification, lead identification, and preclinical studies. Target identification involves finding the genes known for the disease using bioinformatic tools like various different tools or databases. Second, finding the proteins and study their interactions with the other proteins with the help of literature or databases. Then, sequence and structural study using the sequence alignment concept, followed by in silico protein structure predictions if the structure is not available. If the structures are available in the PDB database, which contains experimental structures obtained from X ray, NMR, cryo M methods, then we will be going for that. If not available, then we go for in silico protein structure prediction. The models can be done using the technique of homology modeling, threading, or ab initio, which can be validated with various methods. Once the protein or the target or the biological target is finalized in terms of function, the related events, and the structure, we go for acticide prediction using literature and database. After the target identification, the other flow involves hit identification, where Using the literature and the chemical databases, we try to find out the compounds that can inhibit, target the protein or the biological target. Followed by lead identification. Lead identification basically involves the conversion of all the hits obtained to the lead. This can involve the process or the approaches like pharmacophore based drug designing and screening, molecular docking studies, etc which basically involves lead optimization. After the lead identification, we go for preclinical study, which involves studies like ADMET prediction, ADMAP, that is adsorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity prediction for the final compounds received from the lead identification and the optimization and pharmacokinetic study. This particular workflow involves various platforms like bioinformatics, chemoinformatics, and drug discovery approaches. We have designed our module in such a way that we will be studying all these platforms 
separately. And in the end, we will be able to work on the drug discovery and hence we can design our own workflow for our research work. So let us understand how we have designed our own model. In our module, we will be learning the bioinformatics, chemoinformatics, and drug discovery. In the bioinformatics, we have proteomics and genomics. Let us study what are the concepts which we will be studying in each of these platforms or modules. In the bioinformatics, we will be studying what is bioinformatics, different applications of bioinformatics, etc. Let us start to understand that what kind of things we will be learning in bioinformatics. We will be having the genomics, where we'll be studying about the whole genomes of the organisms. We will be also learning about the proteomics. We will be studying the information about the complete set of proteins, which are expressed by an organism, cells, and tissue. The entire information about the genomics and the proteomics will be obtained from the databases like gene databases, NCBI gene, ClinWorld, DBSNP, HOMIM, CARE and protein databases like Interpro, PDB-SUM, PDB, Reactome, Stitch, Trains, PFAM, Unit. So using the databases of proteins and the genes, we will be able to retrieve the information and we will be compiling it with the available literature. Using the information, we will be studying the concept of sequence alignment. This concept of sequence alignment is basically used to extrapolate the information of the unknown from the no, which will involve various algorithms like Needleman Wunsch, Smith Waterman, etc. And we will be using the tools based on this particular algorithms like BLAST, PASTA, Cluster, Omega, C Coffee, etc. This particular sequence alignment will lead us to understand whether the structure of the proteins are known or not known. If the structure of the protein structure is known, then we will be going for the structures which can be obtained from the literature. If the structure is not known, then we will be going for structure predictions, which is secondary structure prediction using JPRED, GOR, UNIPROT, PDB-SUM, or tertiary structure prediction using the tools like SIS model, ITASL, PDB-SUM, PID2, Modeler, etc. Once we are done with the protein structure prediction, we will be visualizing, we will be understanding the structure, shape, size with the help of tools like Discovery Studio, Swiss PDV Viewer. Similarly, like we have studied about the proteins here with the predictions and all, we will also be using some tools which are associated with the gene. That means we will be studying the tools related to gene finding and gene predictions, which is GenMark, GenScan, etc. Where we will also learn about how to do the prediction of the genes and do the gene annotations. We will also learn some other tools like primer designing and translation tool like ORF finder of NCBI. Once we are done with this particular subject, we will be able to complete the bioinformatics section. Once we are done with the bioinformatics section, we will be shifting towards the second platform or the module, which is chemioinformatics. In the chemioinformatics, we will be dealing with the chemical structures, chemical molecules, drugs, compounds, etc. We will start learning with the help of the databases like PubChem, Zinc, Drug Bank, and we will relate the information from these databases to the literature available in order to understand the entire structure and other properties associated with the drug molecules or the compounds which we will be working on. Once we are done with this particular literature mining for my chemical molecules or the drug or the hits, we will be going for the structure visualization, energy minimization processes, design a new structure, etc. with the help of the chemical structure visualization tool like Marvin. And we will be learning four different suits involved in it like view, catch, checker, and space. After this, we will be learning about an approach for drug designing, which involves pharmacophore designing and screen. Here we will be learning how to design a pharmacophore, how to understand the concept of pharmacophore, how to validate the pharmacophores, which we will be designing using different tools, servers, etc., and how to screen the pharmacophore with the available database 
so as to obtain the potential heads or potential drug molecules. We will also learn about QSR and NIME, where QSR is basically a particular uh, concept which establish a relationship between the biological activity and the physiochemical properties of the compound. We will try to relate the QSR with the drug discovery process and how it is involved. For this, we will be using a software knife. Once we are done with this particular step, we will be moving further for the application part. So basically, the application of the drug discovery, which involves computer-aided drug design process and its techniques, like target identification and active segregation. We have already discussed about the target identification in our previous slides. In the active site prediction, we will be using literature, databases, etc. Also, we will also be using servers for prediction of the very novel protein or the target. Then we'll be going for the concept of molecular docking studies, where we'll be doing the docking preparations, docking processing, docking analysis, and the conclusions. There will be different types of docking which you will be taught. Individual docking, where we have one protein target and one individual molecule. Multiple docking with autodock vena, virtual screening based docking, etc. Once we are done with the molecular docking process, we will be shifting to the admit prediction and the Lipinski rule of five. Basically, these are the concepts which are preclinical as well as, uh, you know, comes under lead optimization also. So in the admit, we will study about the absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity as discussed in the workflow. And in the Lipinski, we will study the different rules which are involved and the passing and the failing of the compound, of single compound or multiple compounds using different databases or tools. Once we learn entire modules like bioinformatics, hemoinformatics, and drug discovery, we will be able to work with the workflow. That means we will be able to design our own workflow on our research project. The various applications of drug discovery, as discussed before also, are it is cost effective, it reduces the time span, it can help us to identify the potential lead compounds, it can help us to develop possible drugs with a wide range of diseases, also discovery of drugs with multiple targets higher efficiencies, efficacies, lesser side effects, and specifically in terms of toxicity. That's it. Thank you.